Hey, what's up? We're talking wireless networks. You gotta get your wireless on. You gotta be back to the basics. It's back to the basics, and we're talking wireless. Let's go. Welcome back, it's back to the basics. We are talking wireless networking. Everything from 802.11 to 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz. So like, what is it? So 802.11 is essentially when we talk about physical networking like ethernet, 802.11 is the standard that talks about the layer two, the physical MAC address type, type connectivity and the physical medium, which is RF. There is no real, I guess, is there physical or is there not physical? Well, it's radio waves. So when we talk about 802.11, really there's a lot to talk about when we're talking about frequency range. So 2.4 gigahertz versus five gigahertz. So the first thing about 2.4 gigahertz, that was kind of the typical standard for uh, BG type, type uh, connectivity. And as the standard has evolved into N and AC, five gigahertz is becoming more prevalent. And the reason why is because the desktops and the machines can actually connect using the five gigahertz frequency. The other reason is we're talking 24 non-overlapping channels versus three in 2.4. And well, why is that important? Well, if you have non-overlapping channels, that means that there's less noise on that RF frequency than if it's an overlapping channel. So ideally you want your APs or access points to operate in a non-overlapping channel. So when you put them together, they form essentially rings. And if you have an AP next to another AP, they use non-overlapping channels. You had a third, they're in no non-overlapping channels. You had a fourth, and now in 2.4 gigahertz spectrum, they would be in an overlapping channel range. And so with that, you have uh, noise. And so in the five gigahertz range, we talked about 24 non-overlapping channels. So you could have up to 24 APs within earshot of each other and them not step on each other with the RF frequency. So that's why it's important. So when we're talking about dense deployments, like uh, you know where you have an AP and you have 24 clients connected to a single AP in a dense deployment, we want to be able to get as many APs as we can, lower the power down, uh, the gain down on those antennas, so less clients are connected to a single AP. That means better performance. So you combine more APs, denser deployment, lower gain, and then you also take the non-overlapping channels of the five gigahertz, you can get more APs within earshot of each other. So better performance. So basically, enough said, better performance on five gigahertz because you have more non-overlapping channels. You can get them closer. And then as you, we use some of these other advanced protocols, you can get up to gig, gigabit speeds. And, and some what, what some of the standards are, are moving towards is like 20 gigabit speeds over wireless. It kind of blows my mind. I actually don't know if I want to be in the range of that wireless frequency kind of beaming down on me. Is it going to cook me? I don't know. But anyway, wireless is getting really exciting. Back to 802.11 uh, standards, we've got, um, I guess not really an 802.11 standard, but we're MIMO. People have heard MIMO, what does that mean? Well, the APs now are coming with three, four uh, antennas, four antennas. So what it means is they'll use each antenna to have multiple streams, multiple in, multiple out, MIMO. So that's just a technology to get more bandwidth to a client. And then as we're talking about roaming, so as these wireless deployments become more and more uh, prolific and less wired connectivity, users wanna move around in the office or wherever they're at, and they don't wanna have disruption to service. So this roaming becomes important. The network needs to support that. So if I have an IP address on my client and I move from one side of the office to the other, I don't wanna have to reconnect or have an issue. So supporting roaming is really common on these enterprise networks today. So the network needs to be engineered for it, or you've got some type of controller solution where it's centralizing that, that traffic so the network doesn't need to have like a consistent VLAN or stay on the same subnet. So roaming is really important when you're deploying these wireless environments. The last thing is antennas. So about antennas, we've got omnidirectional antennas, we've got directional antennas. There's a lot more that we could talk about in terms of the names of them, but in theory, that's really what we're talking about. Omni means everywhere or in a circular donut type thing. Directional means we're focusing that gain down into a focus point like a laser beam. So if we're beaming this wireless signal across the parking lot or a mile out, 
we're gonna use a directional antenna to focus all of that uh, energy to go out in a single direction. In an omnidirectional antenna, we're letting the energy spread around. So the, the signal strength is probably lower, or it is lower, because it's going being spread around in 360 degrees. And actually, it kind of comes out the top in the form of a donut in the antenna. And there's different antenna types and designs. And so what you'll see is some antennas, uh, basically, the, through the design, will shrink that donut. So maybe like a patch antenna is a good example of that, where they're shooting the majority of the signal out. It's kind of like a directional antenna, but maybe it's got a, uh, you know, like a half donut shape. So those are the two types of antennas, omnidirectional and directional. Really, all we're doing is it's kind of like the concept of, I think I saw, uh, you know how you squeeze one of those balloons and it starts to get bubbly at the end. So that's putting pressure and in, in focusing all of that energy in one way. That's a similar way that, that gain works on a in an antenna. So to take it from the top, 802.11, it's, it describes the MAC address, the layer two connection, and the physical medium. That's the waves that go out and connect to the devices. 2.4 versus five gigahertz, that's 24 non-overlapping channels versus three. And then when we talk about MIMO, that's using multiple antennas to send and receive data. And when we talk about roaming, it's important to move in the office and go to different APs. And lastly, antennas, directional, omnidirectional. If I said anything on here that you're like, what are you talking about? Leave a comment email us, tweet us, whatever it is. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. See you later.